Hi, MarshmallowTwelve.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a web server. And now, this first video is going to just be about installing Ubuntu and a little bit of an introduction because um, what I'm going to do is primarily going to be on Ubuntu. Um, however, you can use most of the commands on CentOS and Red Hat and all them other distributions. Um, but for the majority, well, for the entire series, um, it's going to be using Ubuntu. So to download Ubuntu, you literally just have to go to Ubuntu on Google. Um, then once you get to their website, you can go to the download tab at the bottom and click on server. And now the difference between all these are not that much, but just say server um, and get the 14.04.2. LTS or whatever LTS version is out of the time you can get to the latest versions But obviously the um, it won't have LTS which is long-term support if you didn't know So for example this 1504 you can see that it's only available support for nine months So click download download the ISO um, If you're doing this on a physical machine you have to um, Burn it to a DVD and just basically boot from it but on here I've downloaded the ISO and I've got it ready on a virtual machine so if I just load up this virtual machine now it should uh, load into the ISO which we have here so here's the installation process for installing Ubuntu now just follow along and um, it's pretty self-explanatory so we're going to select the language so English um, and install the Ubuntu server which is the top one so click enter on that one now um, I can't remember but on physical but on here you see how it mounts tries to mount um, it will eventually mount um, so just uh, give it a second so here we have the language to install Ubuntu onto now so we select English again the other language was for the installation process this is now language what the server will actually run on. So English, so that's the country. Um, keyboard layout, you can detect it by um, specifying which keys you have on your keyboard. However, if you know what keyboard it is, if it's a stand standard QWERTY keyboard, you can just click no. Um, it will ask you for which country you actually live in. And um, so trying to select English UK. Now you'll get a load of options here. The top one, basically just English UK on its own is uh, just a normal standard QWERTY keyboard. So now it's going to detect all your hardware and whatnot and go through all the installation process. So the next screen you'll come to um, is the host name. Basically this is just basically a name for the server. So whatever you want to call it, your company name probably, or whatever you want to call it, home server, or whatever home. Um, but I'm just going to call this one virtual. It doesn't have to be in capitals if you're wondering. Um, so continue to that one. Also, just as a note, um, you can use the arrow keys to switch between things. Um, however, you can use tab as well, and that will sort of loop through them all, rather than just stop at the end. So full name for the user, I'm going to put Ash. Um, username, Ash. Password, I'm going to put pass. Now by putting pass, it will should detect here that I'm using a weak password. And it's just a confirmation to say, do you really want to use this weak password? So if I can go up to yes, I do want to use a weak password. Encrypt your home directory. Um, no, you don't really need to on uh, servers. I mean on um, basic web servers. Um, so we can click no to that one and just be a waste. Um, confirmation of the time zone to make sure it's correct. So this is going to go through the partition and stuff now. Um, generally, you can use your LVM if you really want to. However, I just just tell it to use guided use entire disk um, since uh, since I don't really take advantage of the LVM options so um, but it's up to you however if you're just starting out and you're not really too sure of what you're doing then just stick with use entire disk for now because it will just work it, you won't get any problems basically the drive now so there's only one drive I'm assuming So this is just a summary of what's going to happen, which drive is going to go where, what partitions it's going to create. Um, generally it's correct. So we can click yes. So now it's going to ask for HTTP proxy. Generally you probably won't have one. 
if you don't know what one is, then you definitely probably haven't got one. Um, so just tell us to continue, leave it blank. So it's going to ask you for um, how you want to handle updates. Generally, pers well, personally, I like to do I like to do the updates myself. Um, however, you can install security updates automatically, uh, manage it with landscape. I can do whatever you want. But me personally, I always select no automatic updates because then I look through them and do whatever I want to do. Um, but it's up to you. So this is um, some software which you can use to install through here. Um, however, um, for example, Lamp Server, which is um, Apache, MySQL, and PHP, which we're going to install in a later video. Which is why I'm going to say um, tab to continue and don't install any of these ha as we are going to do them manually or separately rather, not manually, separately um, through um, something else after we've actually physically installed the machine of Ubuntu. So now it's going to ask um, do you want to install the Grub bootloader to the master boot record? Uh, just click yes to this. I have had some problems in the past with the install good bootloader through USB um, previously I've had to select no on that screen and um, manually select the actual drive the partition um, but for CD or virtual server um, just click yes however if you do do it on a USB app, um, I will maybe do another video um, just of that section um, if you're on a USB just to make things a bit clearer uh, but we'll see in the future so this screen is now basically saying installation is complete and it will restart once you click continue so if we just click continue it will f uh, finish installation, clean up other stuff and restart the machine So that's it, Ubuntu is um, installed and ready for us to start customising it the way we want. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.